All right, Unit 9, we're looking at the volume of prisons uh, today in exercise 17b. So I've uh, selected some of them for you to do. You'll see that on ThinkWave, and I'm going to go through them. So number 1a, we're trying to find the volume of this triangular prism. And what you want to do is find the area, the purple area, and then you want to multiply it by the uh, depth of the pyramid, or the length of the pyramids, which is this 9. So let's find the area of the triangle. So our volume is simply going to be, volume is going to be half times the base of the triangle, which is 4, times the height of the triangle, which is 5, and then we times it by that length of 9. Now, that is going to be half, or 4 is 2, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 times 9 is 90. So we say that this is 90 centimetres, and we do centimetres cubed because we're doing three dimensions for volume. The second one, B, we're going to do the area of the triangle, so it's going to be half times the base times the height of the triangle. So I'm looking at the purple triangle there, and then I'm going to multiply it by the length of uh, the prism, which is 2.5. Now, don't forget you can swap things around. Like, I, I'd rather not do half of 3, so I'm going to times the half by 8, because when you've just got a whole bunch of things multiplied together, you can rearrange the order. So if I go half times 8, I get 4. 4 times 3 is 12, <clears throat> and then I can go, all right, well, 12 times 2 is 24, and uh, 12 times 5 is 6, so I think that should be all together. I add those together, I should get 30 uh, centimetres cubed. Okay. Um, the final one, number 1c, uh, of the triangles here is volume of the triangle is going to be half. Now, if we look at that, the base is 2.5 times 2.5 times 4. And there's a couple of ways we could do this. We could times that um, half by the 4, which would give us 2. And we know that 2 times uh, 2.5 is 5. And then I go 5 times 2.5. So uh, 5 times 2 is 10, and 5 times 0.5 is 2.5. So I think it should be altogether 12.5 uh, centimetres cubed. Again, you could check this on your calculator. Let's move down a little bit and see what we have here. Now, we've got to find the area of this shape here. It's a compound shape made up of two rectangles. So I could find the area of this top shape, which is going to be 20, uh, since 4 times 5 is 20. The bottom shape is a 2 by 3, so this is 6. So uh, for part 2a, the area is equal to uh, 26 centimetres squared. Now in part b, uh, we've got to therefore find the um, volume of the prism. And you can see that all, all the way along, uh, we have... Um, everything is 3 centimetres in height. So it simply should be volume is equal to the 26 centimetre squared area multiplied by 3, which should give us, what's that, 52, 70, is it 78? I think it's 78. Yeah, 78 centimetres cubed. Okay, so that's that one. Now, number three, this time, we're actually told the volume, and we're just missing one of our sides. Now, so remember, our formula for a, 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 a cuboid like this is volume is going to equal all of the three dimensions. So it'll be five times three times x, and we already know that the volume is 180, so the volume 180 is equal to 15x, and then we divide both sides by x. So I think, uh, is that 12? I'm pretty sure that's 12. 15 times 12, yeah, 180. Yep, cool. Okay. Now for b, uh, this time we also know the volume of the prism is 48. So we know that the volume of a triangle is equal to half the uh, base times the height and then times the depth or the length of uh, the, the pyramid. So we pop in our 48 for the volume, 
the base of the triangle is uh, 3, the height of the triangle is 4, and then the length or depth of the prism is x. So let's work out what this is. The next line we could have 48 is equal to, now I'm going to multiply that half by this 4 because it's easier. So 2 times 3 is 6, so I get 6x. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 6. So 48 divided by 6 is 8. So I think um, x centimeters is actually 8 centimeters. The next question looks a little bit more complex. Uh, 4a, let's have a look. What are we trying to do here? We're trying to find the volume by first finding the area of the base. So if we look at this base here, you can see that it's made up of these little squares. So we've got 2 by 2. That's 2 by 2. That's 2 by 2. They're all 2 by 2. And so the area should be equal to 5 lots of those little squares. And each of those squares is 2 by 2. So I think that the area should be 5 times 4 or 20 centimeters squared. Now, that means that the volume is going to be equal to the area times the height of the prism, which is this number here. So I think it should be 200 centimeters cubed. Okay, looking um, now at B, let's see what we can do with this one. A little bit more complex. So we want to find the area of this bottom thing here. Now I've already put in this 3 here, and that is because if this is 2.5 here, and this whole length is 5.5, uh, then that must be a 3. So we can divide up our um, shape in the bottom into three rectangles, A, B, and this one, C. Now, A um, plus B, uh, my computer's playing up, plus C, should give us the area of the bottom there. Now, I think the area of A is going to be 5.5, which is the length, times this bit here. Now, what is this bit here? Well, you see that you've got 3.5 here, 1 here, and something here. So all you need to do is take away from 8. You go 8 minus 1 minus 3.5, and that should give you 3.5. So this bit here is 3.5. So it's times 3.5. Now, for B, you've got this 3 that we worked out earlier, multiplied by this length here, which is, according to that, 3.5. And C is simply 4 times 1. Now, when we add all of that together, what do we get? I'm getting uh, 33.75. I think that's right. And then we multiply that to get the volume by uh, 6. which gives us 202.5. So we got that one. Now this last one here is supposed to be a challenge, but I don't think we're going to have any problems. We're going to find the area of this T. And the first bit is this here, which is a 7 by 4, so that's 28. Now for the top rectangle, we've got to find what this length is here. Now you know that you've got 7, and then this bit here, 4, and this bit here, 7, makes up that we add them all together, we get 18. 7 and 7 is 14, plus 4 is 18. And we already know that this is 4, uh, because that's 4. So 18 times 4, uh, 36, 72? 72. Now, we add those two together, and that should give us the um, area. So the area of the T is equal to 72 plus 28, and that is 100 centimeters squared. Now, the final thing is we know that the volume is... 1200. So the volume is equal to the area times the length, and we want to find the length. So we chuck in our values that we do know, centimeters cubed, uh, equals area, 100 centimeters squared, times the length, and when we rearrange the formula to get length by itself, we go 1200 divided by 100, um, whoops, not 12,000, I've got one, two, many zeros here, get rid of that one. Uh, and we'll get 12 centimetres as our length, and that would be that. Alright guys, I hope that makes sense.